Ooh, what's up guys? This is the Braveman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Spanish Empire. So to pick up where we left off, we have some counter-offensives to kick off against this Russian incursion um, in the Romania. We have this first army here, currently garrisoning this farm, and we have another army to the west inside our church school. So let's first attack the army of Jan Grusov and his force is a heavy militia component. A couple of depleted units in there and uh, the odd um, useful good unit in there. Good, good cavalry component but we've got more than enough to deal with it so let's take them out. So as the western front becomes more and more cleaned up um, well what I probably want to do is I want to start seeing some uh, growth in the Americas first because right now we've got a a solid position in Western Europe. Uh, Eastern Europe is a bit dodgy um, because you've got all these Russian troops, but I'm intending on bringing some troops back that are currently out in the Middle East. First of all, let's deploy our troops. Put a strong component in the center of our line. This unit, well, they, these guys will have to trudge up a bit to get a better view. And then we've got our formations on the flanks. So I will probably want to use my cavalry intelligently to mop up routing units. Our howitzers will need to be intelligently used. So let's start. Let's push this flank up a bit. I'm happy to let my howitzers pick their own targets for the first instance. I mean, they're all focusing on this horse artillery unit, which isn't a bad idea. You could probably want to start trying to pick off some of these cavalry units. Whether you guys can name it the 47th. This cavalry unit is going to get chewed apart by musketry from my line. They've not chosen well there. It must, this, my field artillery can continue to focus on... Oh, you go ceasefire. Limber canister first. New chaps deploy in square as well. Canister's probably a bit unnecessary. Round shot that militia unit right in front of you. It's the general's bodyguard that's extending out on the, the right flank so my actual line infantry position can push up to try and get some fire into the flank of this militia unit. Well, you can try and canister their cavalry. Again the right flank's in a very similar position. Looks like they've got a couple of units dug in on the flank. Let's get my artillery focusing on the enemy threat that's quite close. The regiment of horse is pulling back. You guys focus on the militia because that's quite a... Not a massive bother, but they're enough. Let's get one of these units out of square to see if those Amluks will engage. Let's get our cavalry and our general out on the flank. So the ninth foot guards are not in good shape. So one howitzer, she don't aim, don't don't make them aim it. Aim short. Looks like those. There we go. The Kamluks are routing. Push up our line. Push up our light horse. Actually, can the howitzers? No, they're out of range. No, they've come back. So we've got a couple of units here that look like they want to try and do something against our regiment of horse. Those and uh, are particularly viable. Yeah, the militia have been routed back there. Charge that regiment of horse. My infantry out on the flank again. 
continue to advance. Yeah, you guys begin to engage the horse artillery there. This flank will push up against this enemy formation up in the hills. Once we've knocked out the enemies there. You guys are within range to fight those irregulars. So let's begin a bit of a push. This artillery switched around, shot, engage the general's bodyguard. And again, my cavalry. Focus on the guard musketeers, because we're going to be on our way with mobile support. That was a misclick on an attack, but I don't mind. My cavalry is sufficiently far away. I've got time to deal with it. There we go. Let's advance. Because those are the ninth foot guards. That's a unit we definitely want to kill. The Tartar are going to be going down. Yeah, they're going to be... Some of them are going to get picked off from the troops up in the in this dug up position I mean they are grenadiers and you guys have hit the militia but I'm not going to have you stay there so these units can push up ahead of the guns as well well that's really quite too far run my cavalry away because then my their militia will get engaged by my infantry keep on storming soon those guys will have to abandon their position Chase down the Irregulars. To be honest, this line unit just pushed through. There we go. The enemy troops have abandoned their position. Got a lot of troops here looking to run. You guys better charge into the back of the 15th Regiment of Militia. To be honest, let's get these hearts to just fire a round shot. There you go, it's always worth right clicking because sometimes they will stop to fight you, which is just perfect. Just get you guys over there double quick. You guys are going to be guard mode off. So when they, the militia route, they'll chase them down. My guys are just tired as well, rather than very tired. So you guys want to chase down line infantry, really. Oh, my artillery. Well, apart from you, you ceasefire. You men both engage the 17th. You men just storm up to take out that unit. My general's bodyguard can chase down the grenadiers. Hello, what's this? So they're going to try and engage my cavalry over here. Admirable of them, but we have infantry pushing up on the flank. Come on, come on general, chase them down. 60th down. You men charge the 17th. We want our cavalry to continue to attack the infantry. You guys can try and attack the 47th. That unit's broken. General's bodyguard against the 6th.
Oh, it is still that. Okay, right. I don't know. I know this unit existed, but I don't. I don't know why I decided not to consider it. Why I somehow managed to forget that that unit was still here. Okay, they've routed. Go after the irregulars. Go on, work it out. There's only two of them. I mean, they're both militia units, but that one's the more coherent one. Ah, the Grenadiers got away. Very well. We're going to be killing militia. Those Grenadiers are going to escape because they're all spread out. Ah, well. Killing militia isn't bad. It means that they'll route even quicker. Next time they charge our line. I mean, they are. Yeah, they are going to get away, but we will do what we must. Still, I'll take the win. I will take the win, because the Russians have sufficient numbers of troops in the region that we can't really afford to let them mass too conclusively. So let's take our weakest unit, which is this fella. Oh no, it's because it's line and colonial line, I see. Let's use them to top up these remaining units. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I do have... We do have more troops in um, Istanbul. So we can dispatch... A relief column to the region. We're not going to cross the river. Istanbul itself. Don't, yeah, don't build anything. You guys could attack them, maybe. But I want you guys to be a bit stronger. So I think the move there is not to do anything rash. If two units of Swiss line can also be used... As reinforcements. Obviously up here we're against. Um, well we've made peace with Westphalia for now. We've got Strasbourg to kill. Although. Not Strasbourg. Württemberg. Just see if they fancy peace and trade. Hmm. What about peace and I'll offer you my entire treasury? You want Algiers? Not a... Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Not ideal. Because I don't like having enemy territories behind my line. Trouble is, there's no way around. I'd rather give them Sarajevo, maybe. Region. I've selected, hasn't it? That's oh, just Bosnia. There we go. Good, and the reason why I like that is because it means this army is now free to prosecute the war against Russia. And it also means the Württemberg has been pushed across the river. Which means that this army is more than capable of defending this bridge. And it means we've got a huge amount of firepower in Europe that is actually surplus to requirements. So, so Jamie de Azara, you can also be redeployed to fight against the Russians. You will also likely be redeployed to fight against the Russians. So I think we've... So because Sarajevo is worth... It's worth 2,500. I know Algeria is not worth as much. 1,800. But I'm happy to take the hit to my treasury. Because it means that at least Württemberg isn't behind my lines somewhere. Where they can run and take Tunis. Or run and take Tangier. 
that means a lot to me, knowing that they're directly ahead of me and I haven't got to worry about them. Or at least they're in my warpath. So in the Americas, obviously you're replenishing, but the Ottawa rebels here, who are under attack, who will be under attack. Alfonso Mendez, you will likely begin the offensive to retake both Nassau and Santo Domingo away from the Spaniards, from the Swedes, I should say. So much so, I'm going to recall my sloops from the ports. So when you're up together, you will make... You will begin your offensive. The Oka Confederacy is a tempting one because... They currently have no allies, and we have an army right here. Under Diego de Cordoba. Although we can't really leave the territory yet. We're repairing the church school. Trying to get the conversion rate up. Well, the main thing is to hit Montreal first. We'd like to take out Quebec, but it depends on what they do with their diplomatic opportunities. I mean, we could trade with them, to be honest. I mean, they are a Catholic nation of the Northern Hemisphere. Former French colony. Let's trade with them. Oh, very well. You have chosen death. And one of these armies is going to go and retake our colonies. Another army is going to sail up and hit um, Plaisance and also Moose Factory. And the army that's going to sail south and hit Nassau, Santo Domingo. So maybe they might actually go first for Guyana because that's a hell of a valuable region to take. We've got options. We've got a lot of options. And obviously we will be invading the old US of A. Sorry, Anthony Monroe. You've not got what it takes. Have we got a... So you're 100% Protestant, but why are you 100% Protestant when there's no... See, why are they... Oh, it's because he's terrible. That's why, isn't it? Let's just move a brig out. Let's embark this guy aboard ship, because he's no. there's no point having him in the Americas apart from spying. We're upgrading you. Okay, let's upgrade you to a coaching in. Everyone's replenishing what they can, or what they need to. You're recruiting some cavalry, because obviously that's your weakest point. You guys are replenishing in good strength. We could upgrade you to a trading port. And I might even immediately shift a sloop over to protect Eastport. We've also got a port up there at Louisbourg. So we're at 14,000. But we're going to retake some of our colonies back. We've made peace in Central Europe. We've got, oh, we've got so many armies. I mean, we do want to deform a defensive line against Austria. And the tempting position... The tempting place is to... Well, we don't want to hold both these bridges. We're going to build a fort here to hold the north. And one army is going to hold this bridge to prevent Austria from advancing easily into our territory. France is upgrading their roads. In a few turns, we've got some pretty major economic techs. So I think the main objective now is to expand in the Americas as quickly as possible. They demand Tripoli. And they're going to offer a threshing machine. No. I don't want to give you... I don't want to give Austria territory behind my line. They're too powerful. They are far too powerful to have them behind my lines stirring up trouble. Another Russian army moving in. Abram Hovrov... Hovorotovsky. Well, sorry mate. Claudio G Gal Galliano is going to annihilate you and push you back. But yeah, the main focus is to keep providing strength on this front to begin squeezing the Russians, potentially reinvading Crimea, 
potentially invading the Darn across the Black Sea. Really start to give them something to think about. Ooh, they want to... Okay, when are fighting over the high ground. Bad idea against Russia. Because they want to storm your positions and get close. Because they've got higher numbers and their troops aren't incompetent in the melee. So deploy with that in mind. That they are actively seeking the offensive. So I might deploy most of my guns here, which dictates I deploy more troops on the left to protect it. This is going to be a bit dodgy. You aim at that cavalry unit, you guys aim at no one at the minute, but if the, if the first howitzer unit fires and hits the cavalry, there'll be some quite good collateral damage there. And if you guys stretch out to get onto the... Yes! If you guys get out onto the plane... Another hit against their cavalry. But the 23rd... So you reload against the fourth. Damn sound problems. But nice bouncing shot there. Got a few kills. If they charge our line, should be okay. We have enemy hussars out moving wide. Let's get some cavalry up on that flank. Let's get our hussars over here. The enemy cavalry has been repelled for now on the left. Fifth Regiment of Dragoons aren't charging. And they're shattered, which is great. Oh, that's not a good combat for you guys. You men deploy square, see if you can act as bait. Howitzers begin to start to try and knock out some of the advancing units. That unit, Grenadier unit on the flank, get into square. Get this cavalry over here. That's right, go back around that way. And run into the 56. They're dying to meet you. Third Regiment of Dragoons are going to get pushed back. Yep, they're gone. That's my cavalry, thankfully. Artillery, canister shot. So they are Hussars, and we are Regiment of Horse. Hopefully we can actually push them back around this feature and get them... get the back end of their formation into... God damn, why are you running around in front of my line? My light horse doesn't like living. Tudor of Cossacks are going to die. Get a howitzer to aim at these Tartar because they're going to do a lot of damage to my line. Cavalry unit has almost been repelled. My light horse going to get in there and fight those hussars as well. Quick climb round fire landed short. You guys form a line in the gap. You men advance up and cover their flank. You guys get out of square. Advance and give fire. You guys help this flank. Use this rock or this feature here to cover your flanks. You men about turn. 
the light horse are nearly down. The 11th Grenadiers are going to fire. Nah. Firing into the flank of the 18th. They've been broken. Push the flank. Quick climb done some did some good damage to the Tata. Drive my cavalry up the right flank, because those Tata are likely not gonna stand for too long. Oh, hand mortars. There they are. So my light my hussars chase down the Tata, my regiment of horse push up. These troops drive hard around the flank. See, I'm not anticipating these guys. Well, I'm anticipating these guys don't completely rout because they are still in reasonable number. Change my howitzers to round shot, get them to focus on the general's bodyguard. Good, they're routed though. Stop my field artillery from firing full stop, I think. It's got a unit of foot guards there that will likely do a bit of damage. But the 23rd are going down. Third light horse are getting involved. General's bodyguard is going to be well placed to fight against the 3rd Grenadier Regiment once they've completely retreated or routed. A couple of good units there that are soon to be annihilated. Actually let's hit the Regiment of Foot the Cossacks first. General's bodyguard is there to wait for these Grenadiers to be upset. Do some more damage to the 23rd. Accept the cavalry. Cease fire. General's bodyguard. Take him out. Damn right, continue. There we go. General's bodyguard should be enough. I don't think they're going to get it though. Maybe. There you go. They killed that regiment of infantry to the rear. There we go. It's another Russian force chewed up and spat out by only one of mine. How many more defeats do you require at my hand before you realise the error of your ways, Russia? Do we march on to Kiev? Is that the final goal? Do we march into your lands and take them back? No. You can try and invade them if you like, Sweden. That will not be a suitable outcome. Westphalia going to declare on us sooner or later. Württemberg, so they're consolidating. Obviously, the pirates own the Windward Islands. So Westphalia and Württemberg are both allies with each other and with Austria. So when we fight, we fight. So let's get our priest over to the Balkans, the Balkans area. So you guys are replenishing. So you could probably do the merging business. So it will cost 
some troops, but that's part of the reason why you recruit um, resupply columns. It's so that you do have that ability to march more men up. Sarajevo. Yeah, raid. Raid the trade here. So in terms of construction, military building here. Let's get some let's get a trade building built. You men can recruit a sloop. Arcadia needs cobbled roads. Let's recruit a trading port and another probably that's a sloop of war. I just want a sloop. Two sloops. Tabado Tadio de Cordoba is going to march onto Montreal. And I'm probably just going to water that. Yeah. So Montreal being a former French region will fall into our sphere of influence quite quickly. Get rid of the church school. Oh my god. Three church schools. Maybe keep one. But the main thing we're going to want to do is upgrade their infrastructure, get these things built up into... Um, get these things built up into industrial centres, get roads built in Cayuga. So Niagara, well, the Iroquois, I'm fairly sure... Ah, oh, they've allied, allied up. Although it's with Quebec and Cherokee, so that could be beneficial to us. It means that this army here... March up to Montreal. Ready to jump onto Quebec. To be honest, actually, I can probably spare a Hussar unit to garrison this port. While this fleet sails. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to abandon... Not abandon, but leave my colonies for now to go capture these two more lucrative regions that exist due to the fall of the French Empire. Yeah, it's a pirate ship. You can sail around that. Full army to take Cayenne. It's just a ragtag pirate army. <laughs> Pretty much the same next door. And it's not worth much now because obviously the port's broken. They haven't upgraded a gold mine. So once we've taken both these regions, then we'll be in the money. To be honest, you guys can probably just disappear. English Channel. Okay, so let's take the sixth rate out of here. Okay, Mr. Azara. De Azara embarked. Senor. I mean, it's tempting to just hit Sweden. Because that would be another front against the Russians. They've not really got anything. So you men can sail and hit Norway. Sail our sloop into the Baltic Sea just to see what we've got to deal with near... Russian stuff near Stockholm, and it looks like the answer's not a lot. What about Finland? Not a lot. Very well. Let's raid a port to the north. That would be a good move, I think. So, Mr. Demacado. Ah, you need roads, Brussels. Okay, so these armies are going to form up into another different force. Probably don't need too many more infantry. Let's get you guys back into La Havre. Spies are doing spy stuff. You're raiding. Region captured Montreal. Yeah, it doesn't give us much now, but... 
you guys are going to be replenishing. Okay, so our Field Marshal of Europe, you can come up and take command of the new army. Paris, you can now be taxed, so that'll give us four and a half grand a turn, which gets us up north of 21,000, which is great. But I think if we start scrapping with the Russians, potentially take Crimea, Kiev, we'll have carved out quite the little force. You guys march back to here. This little warning army stand on the border with the Ottomans. But you men sail over to Sinop to let, get ready to land in Crimea. We want to take Geronimo, Geronimo Nadal. He's going to hit this Russian army here in Bucharest. Because we need to start pushing them back. I think attacking Crimea will be good because it will force them to move some of their troops east. Obviously taking Christiana in Norway will help draw some of their forces north. That and if we take Norway and Stockholm, Stockholm is a very valuable region and it gives us a potential um, attack vector into Russia from Finland down the line. What the hell was that? I just knocked something off my desk and it was heavy and hit my foot. So, deploy my line, putting all my artillery up on this, this high ground. Or maybe two units up top and then two units further down. Form a great line. Got way too much artillery in this army. Pardon me. Um, so, let's deploy my howitzers ready. To engage. We've got cavalry split up on both flanks. Geronimo's going to join the left. Potentially a bit eager. But our left flank is secure. And obviously they can't we can't actually shoot a good chunk of their force. But we can quick climb it. So let's pick our targets. So you men knock out the fusiliers. These men knock out the guards. Yeah, the general's bodyguards skirmishing or looking to skirmish and wander around the left flank which isn't exactly what they wanted to do especially when our cavalry are right there i'm going to start engaging the enemy hit the general's bodyguard in force God, their warband has marched right into point blank range. Yeah, if if they routed, but they are going to come back because that's not enough men to result in a in a um, decisive break. You guys hit the twenty second. You guys hit the twentieth. General's bodyguard's been wiped out. Push up our cavalry up the, up the flank. Yeah, the old warband are... Yeah, they're wavering in now. They've come back. Should, okay, so it should be some artillery rounds dropping in around here. Yeah, they're hitting the 22nd. Get ready with our cavalry. Bring in our cavalry. They hit the 22nd first, that's a priority. 
regular line infantry units are better than mercenaries. Could probably do with retargeting this artillery. Well, they're shattered. Go after the mercenaries just to make sure they don't come back. Okay, maybe I ought to group these guys. So the units further down the hill aim at the line infantry guards. There you go, it's quite a significant collapse by the Russian forces there. You may aim at that regiment, but these howitzers work against the 48th regiment. The engineers are deploying their squares. We're deploying stakes. This unit, Pekka, the 8th Regiment of Horse. Enemy general has been killed. Okay, they're shattered. All my cavalry back. Retarget the howitzer fire again. Can you target the dragoons? So we'd start pushing on the left. Get my general over there ready to start to attack their routing units. My cavalry's probably going to get caught on the hop. But that's okay because I want to try and. Get a bit further away from those spikes. Push my men up the hill. I kind of like cavalry. Yeah, they are winning against the dragoons. Uh, so that's the lone unit. These two are both the units grouped together there we go that Russian enemy of horses enemy regiment of horses broken so let's get them in you guys attack the warband enemy regiment of dragoons have been knocked out the line infantry guards they are soon to be annihilated my line just advance be careful, there is a set of spikes there. Guard units are delicious to attack. You guys pivot, ready to face the 43rd, all of my artillery. Focus on them. My heart says everyone else sees fire. So fundamentally, they are Dunzo. Dunzo Washington. So we are going to focus on the units that are over here. Although, yep, yeah, you guys started to get shot in the back by your own artillery. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of units in the other routing the other direction. We're not going to touch, but that's okay. We've got a good number. Over here to annihilate, so that's a grenadier unit gone. These two units can both try and take out a line infantry guard unit, which would be delicious to wipe out. Come on. There's only two left, and they're both right there. So that unit's going to route because they've, yeah, other units in that area were starting to disappear. But there we go, that was a nice victory. Let's push another Russian force back into the hills. So these are all colonial lines, so let's merge together to try and produce one 
reduced strength unit that at the very least could potentially be used to strengthen these are all regular line infantry units very well you men fall back to here so we'll take one regiment of line to Bucharest you guys can take a guard unit There we go. So now we've got a good cluster of infantry units or armies that are ready to repel these guys whenever they start to get a bit close. We also have another army over here at Bucharest to drive west, east if we need to. I mean, I want to keep, if I can keep one army down here in the region, that'll be okay. Could probably do with upgrading Damascus a bit. And then again, to be honest, I could probably do with spending my money everywhere. So let's hit end turn. Austrians are on the move. They're going to cause us some issues when we eventually have to fight them. That's probably why attacking Norway and taking Stockholm as well would be useful. <laughs> Again, another defensive action. Very well. They want to send... I would auto-resolve, but I've brought in a second army plus on this front because the Russian strength is so significant... I don't really want to be taking unnecessary losses against against them because well you guys know they have lots of they have lots of troops lots of troops and I don't want to start losing one and a half two thousand men in a battle that I could be losing you know 600 less similar well it is the same deployment but at least this time we have Defences. Let's just deploy some stakes. Uh, you on the flank can deploy stakes. Let's group them together. Four units on the left flank that are going to have trenches for now, but that's going to be fairly unnecessary. Let's assume something similar happens and group all my cavalry on the left. On the right, sorry. Fundamentally, they've just got lots of... A couple of blocks of infantry, but fundamentally not a lot of super effective units and we have a general's bodyguard backing us up ooh it's a good kill there yeah try and attack them but the one it's the one with To be honest, get both our artillery units to focus fire on their general. I mean, I will move out of my defences because it means I get a better position, fundamentally. I mean, it's out of range of artillery support, and that's probably by design. But our howitzers at least can limber up and attempt to join them. Especially if they're going to spend time wandering around and not really doing what we want them to do. So we have to manually manoeuvre your my artillery through the line. Yep, Tata are coming up. But our first regiments of line are there ready. You really do need to be careful getting them through those gaps. Yeah, those tar yeah, I mean, pretty knackered. Desert Camel Mercenaries, similar problem there.
Yeah, there's just not a lot of staying power there. But you make them go single file. Sometimes if they try and go through the gaps, they they suffer significantly. Yeah, the Desert Camel mercenaries are wavering from being engaged. And there they go. a bit more a bit more separate so you guys can unlimber with quick climb because you've got some good targets there in range but when the guns spin around and the the order of regard comes around there it is So they're dropping stakes, and it's like, yeah, you think you're, you think you can defend? I don't think so. And the other Howitz unit, just get through the lines. So where's the quick blind going to come in? I'm curious. I mean, you can. Exp you would not expect them to uh, put up with too much of a bombardment. Especially these guys, because they've just been hit from every direction. So they want to go after my cavalry. It's their prerogative. Grand Air Guards, like I said, they're suffering. Suffering a bit. Desert Warriors didn't manage to get a, a volley off before my cavalry got into range. Hopefully you can make them rave, that would be quite the quite, quite to the coup if we could have made them rout. General's bodyguard charged the Tartar. Close the door on. We'll open the doors into firing on the flanks on a couple of good units there. General's bodyguard charging in single file. Get my grenadier guards over to help out. Oh, right when I said get my grenadier guards over to help out, obviously against a full strength general's unit against a third strength Tartar unit. That's all it takes. All it takes to knock him out. Oh well. They will soon be done for. There we go. Charge that 32nd Regiment in the rear with a Regiment of Horse, because they should be upset at that. Killed my General, so I'm going to try and kill theirs. And they're still in a fantastic position to be shot at by volley fire as well. There's a proper chunk of infantry right there that my guys can shoot at fairly safely as well. There we go, at least we got the enemy general as well. Then you guys form that new flank. There we go. So what have we got left? A square formation and a unit of line infantry on the march. you can knock out 
some of these mercenaries. Accidentally killed a whole bunch of my guys on the charge there. Well, I knocked most of them down. They didn't all die. Always the concern, though. Too bad you don't want to knock out that mercenary unit. The general's bodyguard came back, even though the general himself is dead. Nope. <laughs> Proceeded to immediately rout when I changed targets. Continue, but it's just going to be... Everyone's going to go. Everyone's going to rout. They're going to go. General's going to go. And the battle is won! Hurrah! Lots and lots of fighting in Romania, and obviously I've lost my general. Oh my god. I mean, I'm happy to let them feed men into... Alright, I'll auto that one. <laughs> I only lost a thousand men, it's not so bad. But so for god's sake, they really, really want that farm. Yeah, you can kill my sloop. Let's see if he kills anyone. Hey, he did. So I got one of the Russian ships. They're going to be mighty upset once I push on Stockholm. See, Sweden has caught wind of what's going on. That's Louisiana and Priest. Good. I want Louisiana to run around converting people because uh, they're also mine. Come to the US. Don't worry, Quebec. Soon you will be lost. Fleet destroyed. Again, I've got the rather grandiose word of fleet, but alright. So this force, you guys, get back off the front line. Let Marcio take the position. He can take a Swiss line infantry. Ciro de Lorena can take over the force here. This, this uh, line infantryman can be raised up. General Aaron Mazdu. So you men can call up the recruitment of some fusiliers, some line. Don't, let's get some line cavalry. Call up some reinforcements. You guys, you still need one more unit. Let's call yours up separately because you do actually want just artillery. So there's a lot of them dug in in the hills. Which you obviously don't want. Some great, oh, that's a lot of money for a port. I oh, need to hop over to the Americas, because this is where we've got, yeah, lots of good stuff. Craft workshop, craft workshop. Fur trader. You're upgrading your roads. As are you, military governors or civil building. Upgrade the fur trader, upgrade big chunk of change for a fur trader especially when that commercial port was a bit cheaper and commercial ports are still really good and then down here pair the port build the gold mine this army can leave march up to Paramaribo we can get my sloop back here We're going to take Paramaribo, but soon Dutch Guyana is going to start making a bunch more cash for us, and we're going to be up to 23,000 a turn, which is nice. Uh, this force here, next turn they'll be up in up in their grills. This force is going to land, hit march on, hit Quebec. At the same time, this force is going to march and hit Niagara. We're still going to have a fairly limited front line because we only have... You know, the Cherokee will get involved, but the Cherokee won't be able to... Oh, we're currently at war with them. 
but they can't get at us. But this is quite an advantageous position, I must admit. Let's take the farms there. Good, some good civil upgrades. Heroic death by my general, I know, sad. But then this force here under Jamie Ad Azara is going to march and take Christiana, which, which is the Swedish capital. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the destruction of the Swedish Empire. Cheers, everyone.